This was an important milestone for Chinese aviation. Liftoff for its first domestically produced, but much delayed, large passenger jet. As the C-919 disappeared into overcast skies, state TV broadcast live pictures from multiple cameras. The maiden flight of this medium-range jet, with between 150 to 170 seats, has though taken time. It's at least three years behind schedule and is unlikely to be carrying passengers for another two years. The twin-engine jet represents China's attempt to challenge Boeing and Airbus in a very lucrative market. Another sign of how the country is moving up the value manufacturing chain, say analysts. China is not just producing shirts or sneakers. We need to produce our own airplanes and cars. If China only relies on American or European airplanes, it's not good for China. More than 500 C919s are on order, mostly from Chinese airlines. It's not entirely homemade. Key parts, including the engines, are foreign manufactured. China has the world's fastest growing aviation industry, driven by its rapidly expanding middle class. Boeing executives recently estimated almost 7,000 new aircraft will be needed in the next two decades. Another reminder of China's growing superpower reach. And last week there was another, when China's first domestically built aircraft carrier was unveiled. Six months ago, the new J-20 stealth fighter warplane made its debut. Now China's aviation industry is trumpeting another important technological advance. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.